Once upon a time, pigs were kept in small numbers on straw bedding with access to fresh air. The manure was removed manually. So why do we no longer see pigs in the countryside? At the end of the Second World War, people were famished and food was scarce. There was an urgent need to mass produce cheap and plentiful protein in Europe. To do so, more and more pigs needed to be raised together on less and less space. However, removing the manure manually was now becoming too much work. Bedding now had to be replaced by concrete slatted floors. Now, urine and feces could drop down together into a slurry pit below. The mixture of feces and urine in the pits could then be easily vacuum pumped out by a slurry tanker. For this all to work, pigs now were kept fully indoors on fully slatted concrete floors without any bedding at all. The degraded and stinky slurry would then be transported away from the farm, not only at a cost to the farmer, but also to the environment. The slurry, a mixture of feces and urine, under the slatted floors proved to be detrimental to both the indoor and outdoor climate. When fecal bacteria comes into contact with urea, a compound found in urine, a pungent chemical is created called ammonia. The stench from ammonia even outside the barn became so horrible that neighbors, even whole villages started to complain. The deposition of huge amounts of ammonia also became devastating to biodiversity. This led to the idea of fully sealing pig barns, even removing windows and installing air washers in the roof. The air washers clean the air before its release into the outdoors. Better for the people, but it did nothing to reduce the stench for the animals and farmer inside the building. Air washers also require a lot of electricity in the barn. Risk of barn fires increased dramatically. Subsequently, every year more and more pig barn fires are started by a short circuit in the air washers killing hundreds and thousands of pigs in a horrific manner. So how can we change this never-ending story of problems, of dangerous and environmentally detrimental solutions being used simply as a band-aid? What if we could develop a humane and smarter method of raising pigs? What if we could use the innate intelligence of pigs to create the solution? Pigs are not only smart, but also hygienic animals by nature, choosing not to soil their living quarters if given the space. So what if I told you that we can go one step further and teach pigs to urinate and defecate separately in their living space? Well, Dr. K. Schrepens, a Dutch pig farmer and veterinarian, has done exactly that. By using a release feeder and lemon candies, Dr. Case has trained his pigs to go to the toilet separately in a urinoir and poopoir. The story is being rewritten. With feces now not coming into contact with urine, ammonia and its toxic stench are no longer a problem. The air climate is clean and there is no stench. Air washers are no longer needed and thus the risk of barn fires is eliminated. Bedding can be used again and fully slatted floors have become redundant. Access to fresh air is again possible. The separately collected fecal matter and urine under the poupoir and urinoir is now high quality pure fertilizer and the farmer can be paid to have it picked up rather than it costing him. Pioneer Dr. K. Schrepens has already successfully proved that his intelligent pig toilet is not only possible but financially viable in test pens on his farm. In 2021, he will create the first commercial barn using his innovative and environmentally groundbreaking pig toilet system. So keep an eye out on his project.
Normally, you don't throw good ideas down the toilet, but this one, you do.